Woo! Good golly, Miss Molly. The Denver Nuggets survive Game 7 over the Utah Jazz 80-78. to I forgot the exact number, whether it was like 12 or 13, but I forgot. But uh, the Utah Jazz, unfortunately, <laughs> becomes another victim of blowing a 3-1 lead. Uh, Denver, wow. I mean, a, an amazing comeback. I mean, I had Denver in seven games. I didn't think it would be like this, but... I mean, wow! Kudos to kudos to those guys. Um, you hate you hate it for Donovan Mitchell played his heart out in this series. Uh, him and Jamal Murray going back and forth, but you can tell both of those. I, I think you can tell both of those guys were spent. You know, because both of those guys shot terribly. Uh, you know, uh, and both of those guys had some unfortunate incidents, as, uh, especially Mitchell with that last uh, with war with the second to last. Uh, <laughs> Utah uh, possession where he turns the ball over and then uh, Denver and Murray for some reason pushes the ball instead of pulling it out forcing uh, Utah to foul and then they miss a shot and then Utah gets another opportunity pushes up the floor Mike Conley shoots a long three point and goes in, in and out of the rim <laughs> I mean, that's one of the craziest finishes to a Game 7 I've ever seen, man. Um, like I said, tough break for Utah. Uh, like, I said, like I said, both Murray and Mitchell played their hearts out this series. Uh, incredible. Uh, like uh, Mark Jones, the uh, broadcast said, they'll be they'll forever be uh, – Murray and Mitchell will forever be uh, – uh, mentioned together because of that great series that they put together. Uh, tonight was about the big men. Tonight was about the big men. Nikola Jokic and uh, Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert, 19 points, 18 rebounds. But then um, Nikola Jokic put up a 30-piece and nine rebounds. I mean, uh, way to step up. Way to step up for uh, Jokic. Uh, he, he, he struggled. He's had a struggling year, but uh, but he but he but he's he's been really struggling uh, coming coming back from the bubble. Of course, you remember he lost all that weight. He had a battle with COVID. Uh, I, he, he, it seemed like he's it took him some it took him some, definitely took him some time to find his footing. But he, he had an incredible game tonight, battling against Gobert. Gobert had an incredible game tonight. Of course, we know the history history with the. The history with Gobert and you know <laughs> the coronavirus and how basically shut not only basketball but all sports down. But you know, I mean, he played hard, but I mean, just just wasn't enough tonight. Uh, but yeah, kudos to Denver. Sucks for Mitchell and the Utah Jazz as they become another uh, uh, team that blew a three-one lead. But you know, the future's bright. Although I don't know what they'll do. Uh, they got a good, they got a good nucleus there with Conley, uh, Mitchell, and Go- Gobert. I mean, obviously, I don't know how much truth it is to the whole Gobert and Mitchell uh, relationship status and all that, but we'll see. We'll see. Definitely a bright future ahead, especially for Mitchell. I mean, incredible series, incredible series. As for Denver, they move on to face the number two seed, <clears throat> Los Angeles Clippers. Oh man, that's a that's gonna be an interesting series because uh, we know that the Clippers really struggle uh, uh, guarding big guys. I mean, you see Anthony Davis tear him up. I mean, and Jokic if he can go against Gobert and then do what he did against Rudy Gobert, former Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, I think he can he can he can he can he can have a huge series. Against uh, the Clippers, and they're going to need it. They're, they're definitely going to need it. I mean, obviously Jamal Murray, the series he had. I mean, he's 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 going to be uh, matched up against Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, probably Pat Beverly. They're going to throw all those different bodies at him. You know, kind of like uh, any wing player, like LeBron James or 
or, you know, a Donovan Mitchell or James Harden, Russell Westbrook, you know, the Clippers are going to play him like they play any other big-time wing player. So we'll see how he fares. But this this this, this should be a huge series for Jokic. I, 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 if, if, if the uh, – if the Nuggets have any chance of winning this series, Jokic has to be big time. He has to be, he has to really be big time. As for an actual prediction for the Denver Clippers series, you know I'm looking at <clears throat> I'm looking at every each, each position. Uh, looking at uh, the starting lineup, I'm obviously the Clippers have the advantage because you know you have two of the better players in the game. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George in your starting lineup. Uh, you have Jamal Murray and Jokic for uh, Denver, but you know, obviously, if, obviously, if you think who what duo is better, you're gonna you're gonna you're definitely gonna say Kawhi and Paul Paul George. I mean, Paul George he can't he can't have the start to the series like he did against. Um, Against the Mavs, he can't have a start to the series. I mean, obviously, he said he was struggling mentally uh, as far as the bubble, but uh, you know, hopefully, he finds his footing because you know, ho hopefully, he's found that that footing in that middle ground or whatever because he can't have that type of series again because the playoffs are only going to get tougher from now on. You know, especially in the conference semifinals and then the conference finals and the finals if they uh, get so far. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, exit, exit. Starting line, the, obviously the advantage goes to the uh, to the Clippers. We'll see uh, how uh, see if, see. If, I think I think think Pat Be Pat Beverly probably will probably be ready to go. I think he's going to be the first guy that they probably put on a uh, uh, Jamal Murray. And like I said, a rotation of bodies. Murray, excuse me, uh, excuse me, uh, Beverly. Uh, George Leonard, you know, Marcus Morris, you know, <laughs> hopefully he ain't trying to step on nobody's ankles, injure nobody this time. <laughs> oh, man, but yeah, um, it's, it's the, the, I, I think this could be a series, but like I said, if, if this, if, if, if this series, if Denver will win this series, it'll be because Jokic goes off and has a big, I don't feel that Jokic should, uh, should be as passive. I mean, obviously, he's probably the best passing center or big man center, whatever you want to call him, in the game. Uh, you know, probably the best since RVN Sabonis, as as people call him. But in order to win this series, you can't. He, he can't. He can't be a pass. He can't be passive. There's. I mean, uh, you got Zub, Zubik, uh, Joakim Noah. If he gets time. Um, I guess maybe they'll throw Harris on him. Harris can be a Montrez Harrell on him. Maybe you try to get physical with him. You know, try to bump against that newly slimmer frame of, of Jokic. You know, uh, see if they'll throw him off. But, uh, I mean, if he puts his mind to it, man, I think he should – I think he average at least 25 in this series. And they're going to need they're gonna need all that 25. Denver's going to need all that 25 – if you if they're gonna win this series, uh, looking at the bench, you got Lemon Pepperloo, <laughs> Harold, uh, you got Landry Shamit, uh, great bench for the Clippers, man. Uh, I mean, if if the Nuggets can get something from Michael Porter Jr. and Bowl Bowl, I mean, if he gets time, I mean, I, Bowl Bowl is another guy. Again, they they, they the Clippers struggle against size. They struggle against size. If, if, if Bo Bo gets some time and he's effective and he's productive with his with with the minutes that he gets, that could be a, that could be big too. Michael Porter Jr. the same way. He's like six eight, six nine. You know, I mean, the Denver bigs are gonna are, are really going to de decide how long this series goes. Like I said, I look at the starting lineup. I look at the uh, bench, and I also look at the coaching advantage. And obviously, coaching advantage in this series, it's not even close. I mean, the uh, championship pedigree of uh, Doc Rivers going up against Mike Malone. Uh, Mike Malone, he's he, he's been the assistant coach to some great co to uh, who was he? I think he was assistant coach to Popovich. I believe he was on Popovich staff. But uh, yeah, 
uh, coaching advantage goes to Doc Rivers by a mile, especially, you know, not even just Doc Rivers, the coaching staff he have around him, uh, you know, Sam Cassell, uh, and, of course, uh, Tyron Lou, who I believe will be the coach of some team next year, you know, whether it's Brooklyn, <laughs> whether it's Chicago, uh, somebody. He's going to the, he's gonna be the head coach uh, next season. With all that being said, I got the Clippers – Hmm. My guess says five, so I'm gonna go with five. I, I maybe Denver gets one game, but I mean Clippers. I just think Clippers are so good, so, so good defensively when they are keyed in. I think that Dallas series was a scare for them. So now, now, now I think that that now I think that they're gonna. Keen, they're gonna lock in and they're gonna uh, take care of business. And they're gonna take care of business early, you know, because you know, Kawhi, <laughs> you, you missed the low management, you, you know, Paul George, probably still recovering from those shoulder surgeries, probably still ain't one hundred percent. You know, I, I I think they said okay, that was put a scare into us. Hell, that was probably should have won that series, but 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 that was put a scare into us. So we we're just we're gonna we're gonna try to get these guys. Out the way early to, to kind of to, uh, uh, rest up for the conference finals, but that's gonna do it for this video. I will probably have a reaction to the Oklahoma City Houston game seven, and then of course uh, put the preview to the winner of that game against the Los Angeles Lakers tomorrow. I thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. Leave a like if you like what you're hearing. <laughs> uh, Subscribe, subscribe for more, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next video.